Hey guys, it's Lenny. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Welcome to my... Hey guys, it's Lenny. <laughs> Sorry about the delay there. Uh, welcome to my live chat. I'm trying to do these on a weekly basis. I want to do live chats talking about different towns throughout Monmouth and Ocean Counties. So to start things off, I wanted to start talking about towns throughout Monmouth County. Uh, my first live chat that I did, I was talking about Red Bank and everything all about it from the history to some fun facts to dining and entertainment, community outreach, and of course, it's real estate market. So since we already talked about Red Bank, I want to talk about Eatontown, New Jersey today. So Eatontown, New Jersey, it's actually um, been pretty close to to wherever I've I've lived throughout Monmouth County. So cool thing about Eatontown, um, it's conveniently located to a lot of close neighboring towns, but really great if you're um, definitely like on the road and out and about super close to Route 18, very, very close to the parkway. So yeah, those are just some really big uh, perks about Eaton Town if you are out and about and doing a daily commute. Let's see what else I got going on here. I was trying to play around with screen share and <laughs> for some, I don't know, I'm like having trouble with screen share where it's not um, showing me throughout screen share. It'll show everything on my screen and that is what I wanted to show you, but if I just started off talking to you and it was just you guys looking at the screen and just hearing my voice, I I don't know. I, I don't know if that was something that would be very entertaining, <laughs> but um, I'll have to dig a little deeper, play around with that. It's just, it's so different from how um, Facebook Live does its screen share compared to using Zoom. Yeah, I'm used to doing Zoom screen shares and it's, uh, but anywho, back to Eatontown, New Jersey. So here we are, Eatontown, New Jersey. Let's start off with a little bit of um, some history. So I'm pulling this up here. Uh, Eatontown was reincorporated as a borough on March 8th, 1926, replacing Eatontown Township based on the results of the referendum held on April 13, 1926. The borough was named for Thomas Eaton, who was an early settler who built a mill, a mill, a grits mill, excuse me. That's interesting. And yeah, there's definitely a boatload of history to eat in town for sure. Um, what else, you know, history, eat in town, what does that ring a bell to? Fort Monmouth. Fort Monmouth, oh my gosh. Way back when. So much history there. Wow. Um, Fort Monmouth, you know, former installation of the Department of the Army in Monmouth County, New Jersey. The post is surrounded by the communities of Eatontown, uh, Tinton Falls, and Oceanport, and is located about five miles from the Atlantic Ocean. Fun fact about Fort Monmouth, I've, uh, I've had some family members that work there. Yeah, working for the government. Very, very interesting. And it's amazing to see um, when you walk through there and the history of it. Not too much has changed on the outside and they've uh, began building and they're trying to restructure it and almost give it like um, a revamp as its own community. I know they have uh, townhomes that have been built there. They're working on opening up some businesses. And apparently, Netflix was supposed to be over there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's still happening because apparently there was huge talk of Netflix coming over to Fort Monmouth over in Eatontown. And then it's up for sale again. So, who knows? I mean, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, that's a big deal, coming to, to Eaton Town. You know, it, Eaton Town hasn't really been, like, talked about for too long. Um, it's in Monmouth County, and 
there's there's a lot of buzz happening in Monmouth County. And and for something like that, a big corporation like them coming in, that that's a big deal. So who knows? what that will play out to be. But there's some more interesting buzz going on through Eaton Town. Um, you know, now that we're kind of like talking about the history and a little bit of business of Eaton Town, I'll, I'll dive right into some commercial real estate buzz, businesses for, for Eaton Town. So um, if you have been a resident of Eaton Town, Long Branch, Ocean Port, Titton Falls, or, or any other neighboring towns nearby Eaton Town. You know, growing up, I'm very familiar with Eaton Town. I basically lived at the Monmouth Mall. Yeah, I was there literally every other day growing up. Um, it, it was just so different. It It's so different from what it was to, to now. And all of these these updates and you know these happenings happening in our in our community. So by the Mammoth Mall, um, over in the shopping center, Route Thirty Six, that had Bed Bath and Beyond. It had your TJ Maxx. I remember Grand China Buffet. It had a restaurant called Sawa. It it also had um, Babies R Us. And now they're revamping it. Um, I, I've seen already, like I've been driving up and down past there in my travels, and I do see a couple of the upgrades coming to some of the facades. But I, I did notice that, you know, they did demolish um, the, the Sawa building and they did rebuild it. So what has been told and, and done so far, they added a, a wine place there, a really nice wine place. Um, it looks like that a Target store has been approved. Wow. Yeah, wow. Wow for Target. <laughs> what else do we have going on there? Chick-fil-A. Supposedly a Chick-fil-A is going in there. So this, this is interesting. Very interesting to see, you know, a couple of those big names over there. But there's even more buzz going on in Eaton Town. Um, another big retail giant, uh, specifically online retail giant, Amazon. Amazon Fresh Grocery Store. That is going to where the old Toys R Us used to be. Did I have that right? There was old Toys R Us there, and there was a DSW. The DSW, I believe it just became a medical office. And right next door to that should be Amazon Fresh Grocery. So, wow. That's that's big. That's big, big, big. There's also, I believe, a Wawa coming up right on that same street. Um, they recently added a quick check. And just a couple years ago, they added a grocery store across the way from where Amazon Fresh Grocery would be. It's called Lidl. Uh, it's almost like an Aldi kind of type vibe. I believe it's um, uh, a German grocery grocery food chain. So that you know, there was a lot of upgrade updates to that. But um, you know, I, I think the most anticipated commercial real estate update happening in Eaton Town would be the Mammoth Mall. The Mama Small for years, um, and I'm talking, I, I mean, I'm guesstimating maybe the past six to eight years, you know, it was whispers here and there, oh, they're, you know, they might not no longer be anymore. Um, and there were, you know, the vacancies were happening on and off. And, and I know this, I used to work there many moons ago, retail, it's kind of where I started things, used to work there. And that's, Kind of the buzz you would hear would slow down a little bit compared to how active and busy Freehold Mall was. So um, the big talk about the Mammoth Mall was when Kushner took over. And then there was even more buzz that they were going to transform 
the entire mall. They were going to transform the parking garage, what was going on with the rest of the parking lot. Um, there were, now this isn't, this part, what I'm going to say isn't Kushner related, but behind the mall, they were actually planning to do, I think it was condominiums. It was going to be townhome condo area. Uh, I don't have too much info on that because there was a lot of back and forth with the town arguing there. But I'm, I'm highlighting that because that's the Mammoth Mall's backyard. But back to Mammoth Mall. Um, it was on and off with what updates they were doing for that. And, you know, the mall needs something. It does. It needs something. And personally, I would be upset if that Mammoth Mall were to close because, you know, I grew up there. I was going there all the time. I worked in many retail stores. So I'm thinking about nostalgia. I'm thinking about employment. I'm also thinking about the convenience of shopping. You know, where where's the closest shopping mall besides the Jersey Shore premium outlets? Not too much further of a distance, but then if you want to go to like an indoor shopping mall, then you're going to Freehold. Again, not too far of a trip, but it's it's a travel. So, you know, I would hate to see Mom with Mongo. Plus, you have the movie theater right there. You've got the, you know, the food chain uh, restaurants there. What do we, you know, I, I don't want to dive too much into that because I have a separate chat about food in Eaton Town, but, but you have that entertainment, that dining, that, that retail there. So here's the interesting thing. Now, are they still going to, I, I believe they're still upgrading the Mammoth Mall. I do see a couple of facelifts on the inside of it. Um, I haven't been in there probably in over a year, so I don't know if the, you know, if they've got new um, stores leased out inside there. But the parking garage, adios, no more. They added medical to, to there. They made a medical building, and I believe it's going to be like primary care, um, you know, women and children, medical care. But they have a whole building dedicated to that. Yes, there's plenty of space on that whole parking lot area. So there's parking for everyone there. <laughs> Even all of the, the current restaurants and the Mammoth Mall itself. Um, I just find it interesting that it's medical being put there. I don't know, I, I, I maybe, is it random? Mm, kind of, sorta, maybe. I guess it depends on how you look at it. And then I think back to myself, hold on. That's a medical building coming up. Then you just had another medical building put up in Eaton Town, which used to be the old DSW. Right across the street from that, you have an urgent care. I know there's another medical office there. I think there's a gastro over there as well. Um, it's, it's just interesting to see medical facilities popping up. Is it interesting or, you know, with everything going on in the world, maybe there's a demand for, for more medical and doctors and, and nurses. Sure. Um, definitely, there has been a, um, a an increase of people moving into Monmouth County. So, sure, I could see more medical buildings popping up all throughout Monmouth and, and Ocean Counties and all the other surrounding counties. So that is um, you know, just a tidbit there, putting that there. What else we got going on? What else we got going on with the mall? Did I miss anything? I'm sure there's, you know, some other additional info. I'm just trying to keep up with it all, all the news and the updates. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens to the mall. You know, is it is it going to be a mega mall type style? I don't know what he's going to put in there. You know, every other time I hear an update about this mammoth mall, you know, it sounds, you know, exciting. Maybe it's a little crazy, <laughs> but it definitely needs an upgrade.
It needs love. It needs some more love for sure. All right. Mom is small. Now we can talk about food. It's my favorite topic. Especially when I'm always on the run, driving around, appointments. I get hungry. And you know what? As a real estate agent, I need to point out the best food places to all my clients. <laughs> I need to know that. I need to have the best food places in each town. I need to know them like the back of my hand. So I am not mad at this fact that food happens to be my favorite topic. So what do we have going on in Eaton Town? I'm just gonna name a few uh, off the top here. We've got Firebirds, Wood Fired Grill, Steakhouse, Chain Restaurant. Um, you know, they do the steaks, the seafood, the cocktails. That is located at the Mama's Mall. You have um, all of the, the restaurants inside of the Mama's Mall, like the cafeteria. I know they have a salad place. They have a Burger King there. They have an empanada restaurant. They have Chinese. Do they have pizza anymore? I don't think they have pizza anymore. Last time I checked. I wonder if they still have the sushi like hibachi place. I don't know. It was a smaller version, but I do have to double check in there. Um, I guess it doesn't. It, this is more of an entertainment one, so I'll save that one for for next topic. Um, outside in the Mama Small, what do you have? You have your Chipotle. You have your Shake Shack. Is it Chili's that's by the mall too? TGI Fridays. Yes, there's a couple Starbucks around there. Uh, food, food, food. Give me food outside. Outside of the Mama Small, you've got your Olive Garden, Rufino's Pizza, Italian restaurant. You have Maurizio Pizza, an Italian restaurant. You have Bangkok House, authentic Thai restaurant. Fo 99, Vietnamese restaurant. Oh, how could I? I well, I didn't forget it. I was, I was getting here. The diners. All season diner is there. Mm -hmm. Check them out. The Habit Burger Grill, Buffalo Wild Wings, hello. I love me some wings. Uh, Guido's Pizza. Cluck You. Is Cluck You still there? I don't know about that. Maybe it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, those are just some highlights of restaurants nearby there. And then let's jump right into to entertainment. Entertainment. I mean, you've got the Mammoth Mall itself. Um, inside, you know, you have the AMC theater. They they updated. They have those really nice chairs where you can just kick back and relax. It feels like you're on your recliner and you're at home watching a cool movie on the big screen. Yes, that cool vibe there. And then you have, I don't know if it's much of entertainment, but... Um, they have Planet Fitness at the mall. You've got, um, dun, dun, dun. I think they still have it downstairs in the mall by Planet Fitness, um, Knocker Ball. It's where you go on that big, inflatable, large, ginormous hamster ball. Yeah, <laughs> they have that. Um, also throughout in town there's monster mini golf which i absolutely love and adore i don't care what age you are i think it's so much fun so shout out to them you also have stumpy's hatchet house that was fun that was the first time i ever threw an axe amazing scary at the same time but amazing um there is a eaton town historical museum i had no idea I'm not even going to lie about that. I had no idea. Now I'm very curious and I want to go see this. What? Uh, um, excuse me. <laughs> I didn't know that there was an indoor golf course. It's called Golf Cave. And that should be over by where 
Dumpy's Hatchet House was. This is over by Industrial Way. I had no idea. So now I gotta check that out too. I think it's fun. Uh, yeah. What else about Eaton Town entertainment wise? I know I'm missing stuff. Oops. But I'm giving you the facts. I'm highlighting some fun stuff for you guys. Um, I mean, yeah, there's, I think there's a couple more things here and there that you can do for entertainment, but it's super close in proximity to Tenton Falls, to Oceanport. So you're not too far off if you're traveling. Oh, and you're about like 15 minutes from the beach. Yeah. Definitely conveniently located. Good old Eaton Town. All right, parks. Um, I'm looking at parks here. And there should be about three parks. There is Wolcott Park. There's playground and areas for like sports and games. There's also Husky Brook Park. And there's Leon Smock, Leon Smock 80 Acre Park. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Got to talk about your parks. All right. Community outreach. Or let's talk a little bit about the town here. Now I'm scoping through the town website. Just want to check that out. What's going on with Eaton Town? The town. Um, I'm checking it out here. Well, they have a schedule for the adult community center. That's nice. They do a lot of little events there and it's great for team building and getting to know one another, crafty stuff, bingo. Bingo's always fun. Um, and then, yeah, the, uh, the main calendar here, you got your planning board events, you have your fire prevention stuff, historical committee. It's talking about your, your paper shredding, cleaning up the town, environmental council meetings, and then, ooh, mm, this one's interesting. However, it's been postponed. Rent leveling board hearing. Interesting. Rent leveling. Interesting. Stuff to look out for, guys. Very important. Alrighty. Now I'm digging into a little bit more about the community um, type of outreach. And I mean, I think most of us know about this uh, charitable volunteer work over here at the good old Monmouth County SPCA. Yes, I, I absolutely love, love everything about Monmouth County SPCA. They do such an amazing job for helping out all of the rescues. And, you know, it's, I just wish those, the sad stories would, would stop with how those, those poor innocent animals get, get found and, and how they end up, you know, how they even got there. But, you know, the Monmouth County SPCA is here for the rescue and, and they help them and, guys we do our part support them and they and they take care of the little fur babies oh my goodness they they are amazing shout out to Monmouth County SPCA love them love love loves it adopt a pet too many too many little fur babies out there with no homes all right now we're moving on to real estate we're kind of flying through this here. <laughs> but Eaton Town really is, it, it's fun. It's got a lot going on too. There's a lot of excitement that is going to be happening in the commercial real, start, uh, real estate part of Eaton Town. Um, you know, there, there, there's just a lot coming soon. A lot coming soon. And you know what? I did miss something. Every time um, as I'm heading towards the parkway in Eaton Town, there's a corner lot, a big corner lot, and they're doing construction there. 
And I don't know what's being built there. I have a hunch it might be either apartments or townhomes. But it looks like I'm, that's what I think. So maybe potentially just a little bit more housing in Eaton Town. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. But hey, that's. This is all public info, by the way, which I'm giving everyone. It's all public. Eaton Town population, as of 2019, there has been 12,214 residents of Eaton Town. As of 2019, keep that in mind. We are now in 2022, people. Next, home values. All right, good stuff. Checking out the good stuff here. So, so far you're looking at this is info from realtor.com just throwing out averages out there medium listing home price about 384 median sold home price about 350. so keep that in mind you know we are still experiencing very low inventory all across the board in all the counties okay and um you know as of last year we're we're, we're, we're almost down like 30% inventory. So these medium prices and all that, like it's, it's just a different time right now. Different time from 2018, 2019. Different. Eaton Town Borough, 2021 general tax rate, 2.3. As of 2020, average tax bill, about 8,200. Current available properties, which can change any minute in this market, literally any minute. So from what I'm seeing now, approximately, there are about 14 homes listed for sale any in town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And probably half of those, maybe more than half, are probably under contract by now. Yeah. They say available to an extent, but it's, I mean, these homes are going like wild, wild, crazy fast, super fast, not even lasting a few days on the market. It is bananas, crazy banana town. Let's look up rentals. There are quite a few um, rental communities out in Eaton Town. And condominiums, townhomes. Uh, it says, now I'm looking this up on Zillow, guys. Um, by Zillow, it says they have uh, seven rentals available. Wow. And who knows? Who even knows how accurate that is? You know, it's, it's Zillow. So it's, <laughs> and that this isn't including the for sale by owners. This is not including the for rent by owners. And these people, you know, for rent, for sale by owners, they don't even have to advertise online. They, you know, a lot of it's word of mouth or someone knows someone nowadays to, to find stuff out like that. It's, yeah, but just the, it's almost like the wild, wild west out there in the real estate market. Not too much available, guys, but maybe slowly but surely we might see some more inventory slowly creeping up into the real estate market. Who knows? Time will tell. The market will work in mysterious ways, but what do we look at? Rates increasing. Do you look at what's going on in the world, inflation, gas, all of those increases. Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe it might awaken something here and there. Maybe we'll get some more inventory. We shall see. Keep a steady eye on everything that's going on. Speaking about apartments, I'm just gonna kind of brush through apartment communities throughout Eaton Town. This is all public, helpful information for everyone out there viewing. I'm a helpful agent. Yeah. Just, just dropping knowledge here, guys. 
sharing the fun facts here. Apartment communities in Eatontown. Uh, first up, we've got Ethan Crest Apartment Homes. Next, I see we've got Lakeview Terrace Apartment Homes. We also got Wayside Point. Wait a minute. Wayside Point. That sounds like Oakhurst. How'd you get over there? Paid advertising. Mm -hmm. All right, next up in Eaton Town, we've got Stony Hill Apartments. There is Throckmorton Apartments, Southbrook Gardens, Country Club Apartments, Wedgwood Gardens, Garrison Apartments, Eaton Town Senior Housing. Those last two or three, they're kind of closer to Shrewsbury, though. Interesting. All right. Glen Allen. Laurel Gardens Cooperative. Those are co-ops. We have Eatontown Cooperative Corporation. You know, Google. I was looking for apartment communities in Eaton Town and not neighboring towns, but you pick up all the neighboring towns. <laughs> Next up, we have Ginger Muse Condominium. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm just skimming through here, skimming through all the all the stuffs trying to give you accurate info, you know. I think that's about it for Eaton Town apartment communities. Um, you know, but, but anyone can rent out their home. Uh, they can also rent out their, their condominiums. Condominiums that for people renting out their condominiums, I know they have to abide by the HOA rules. So there's also that but yeah, um, Eaton Town, you know, even though it, it does, it definitely offers a lot of entertainment and dining, but there is quite a few, like quite a few townhomes and condos there. So it's a popular area, popular area, conveniently located. I would say, you know, with it, price ranges right now being in like 385s. I would say somewhat affordable. Taxes are about, you know, they're in the eights. Just, you know, keep that in mind, guys. And uh, seeing if I missed anything. I'm sure there's more interesting and fun facts about Eaton Town. Definitely, you know, there's more you can dig into about its history and Fort Monmouth. And, uh, you know, certainly I, I love to see new businesses come up uh, i get so excited for new businesses especially when they're mom and pops so maybe there's some uh, more of that under wraps there but also you know the bigger corporations coming in to eat in town i mean it's it's just filling in where commercial real estate has already been so i don't have an issue with that and it provides jobs so i i mean that that's just my little opinion on that so yeah is there more housing coming to eat in town i think so um i want to dig deeper into that and as soon as i find facts about more housing coming to like certain towns as soon as i see it pu um, being published by the news I like to share that information and, and post it on my real estate page. I like to share it on my personal page as well because I know the demand for housing right now is absolutely insane. Like two years ago, I thought it was insane. No, it is absolutely insane now, especially when, you know, we we do see a lot of, um, you know, people moving in into, into Jersey, into let alone Monmouth County. Woo! Oh, my Lanta. Monmouth County is very popular right now. Yeah. Um, 
So, so with that being said, uh, hey, just a thought. If you're looking to sell, it was sell. Yeah, yeah. Housing, housing is in high demand right now, folks. Think about it. Think about it. People are out there paying, paying top dollar, paying, paying. Yes. <laughs> How long will this last? I, I honestly, I wish I could tell you the date. I wish I could. Unfortunately, I'm not a fortune teller. Um, however, keep in mind, if these rates continue to climb up, your buyers might kind of look and, and be like, oh, that's too high for me. So then you eventually might need to bring it down a notch. But I don't know. I don't know. Just, you know, that's the nature of the game, right? We will see. But hey, guys, it's a hot market. It's crazy. There's people out there ready and willing to buy. Anyone interested in selling their home, if you thought about it, talk to me. What are your questions and concerns? Do you want to know a potential price value of your home? Contact me. I can help you with this. Buyers, are you looking for a home? Yes, I'm sure you are, and you've probably been looking for a while. Well, talk to me. What are your questions and concerns? How can I help in any way, shape, or form? And that goes to you landlords, that goes to you renters, anyone looking for housing. We all got to work out together somehow. We all need to help each other out. I'm here to make the peace between everyone <laughs> to try and find housing for everyone. <laughs> hey, we shall try. We shall try. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed talking about Eat in Town with me. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening. Um, if you guys have, if anyone has questions at all, whether it's about Eat in Town or you're, you're curious about living in Eaton Town, you're curious about moving from Eaton Town, if you're interested in even commercial real estate in Eaton Town, you want to open up a business, uh, let me know. You know, I'll, I'll dig into that for you too. There's uh, definitely quite an amount of offices there and commercial real estate throughout Eaton Town, let alone Monmouth County. So yeah, let's talk. Don't be shy. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Any questions at all, feel free to direct message me on my Facebook page. Uh, that's Eleanor Decos. No, that's Eleanor Real Estate NJ. <laughs> Eleanor Real Estate NJ on my Facebook page, my Instagram. It's also Eleanor Real Estate NJ. And don't forget, you guys can find me. Um, I am bringing up a YouTube channel, so be prepared for that. That should be some cool stuff coming through. And you know, call me, call me, email me. Phone number is 732-749-0036. And you can email me at E-D-E-C-O-S number three at gmail.com for all of your real estate needs, your questions and concerns. Thank you so, so much for joining me on my live chat. Let's talk real estate, eat in town edition. Until next time, y'all be safe. And have a great night. Lenny's out.